hello guys welcome back so as part of our previous video um, you know we checked what are rendering variants and how we can leverage uh, rendering variants to create you know different kinds of variants based on our project requirements as part of today's video um, we will see uh, you know how we can uh, customize our uh, um, you know out of the box SSA components you know uh, via uh, you know there are different ways we can customize it but as part of today's video we will will focus on you know cloning and SSA rendering and see you know how we can make it uh, work for our uh, for our you know custom requirements so there are different you know the uh, if you see like we from SSA sidecore has basically provided a flow chart uh, you know which basically help us in identifying whether you know we should be creating a new SSA component or we should go for uh, customizing an, uh, an exist existing uh, SXA component, right? So, if, um, so I'm not going to go into that, you know, that flowchart, that like, you know, to understand how we should basically, you know, how we should, um, uh, you know, how much factors we should consider to make that call, but. Uh, uh, from from the customization perspective, also there are different ways we can customize it. So one of the way uh, we have is um, you know creating a clone of your existing rendering. So as part of today's video, we will focus on video rendering, right? So uh, what we are going to do is uh, so uh, to create a clone of uh, you know your existing SXA rendering. The process is you know pretty straightforward. The first thing which we have to do is we have to uh, create a module right because uh, whatever SSA components we have all those SSA, SSA components are part of or are grouped inside a specific module the so same thing we are going to follow here also so uh, you know uh, we as we are going to take an example of video components so what we can do is uh, uh, let me just quickly show you here uh, and let me just refresh it so th uh, on the toolbar section you can see what different groups we have you know what different modules we have and uh, whatever we are planning uh, so let me just expand this media so what we are going to do is we are going to uh, you know customize this video components via creating a clone of uh, this video component right and this video component is grouped inside media so what we will do we will create a new module called uh, maybe you know extended media and then inside extended media what we can do is we can create a, a different component called extended video or maybe if you if you just want to make it simple you can what we can do is we can just make a module also with, with the name extended video and uh, you know a component also with extended video so let's just do that so for that uh, what I'll first do is I'll just go to system then uh, let's go to settings and then you know we have this feature so inside feature uh, by default we have experience accelerator folder and all different modules and different components on it so what we're going to do is um, we're not going to change anything inside this experience accelerator so uh, just right click on your feature insert and then you will get two options either you can create a folder or you can directly create a module so I'm just going to create a module directly here just click on this module and give your module a name so it is running the script and then you know just give your name and I just call it an extended uh, maybe video right so my module name is extended video okay and it is grouped inside um, settings feature right it, it will be created inside your feature folder then these are the different uh, folders where these are the different locations where exactly you know your extended video uh, folder will get created and then uh, from the scaffolding uh, uh, perspective you know we have two set uh, like two set, uh, two options we have tenant setup and then we have site setup so uh, for this uh, for this video I'm just going to you know uh, focus on the site setup basically scaffolding is a way to you know to uh, to perform some automated uh, you know steps like let's say you know whenever you are uh, whenever you are installing a specific module and you know while that model is installing like you just want to make sure that you just want to create certain data items certain settings item you know and you want to run certain scripts so all those things you can define as part of your tenant or your site setup scaffolding actions so for now let's just you know focus on the site setup and everything else is same like extended video just click on proceed okay so our model creation is all done right so once this model creation is done right, you can just set it uh, say like we have extended video site setup the next step is we um, we have to clone our existing rendering now so in this case as I mentioned before uh, we are taking video component here like so what we can do is we can we have to go to layout go to renderings go to feature 
then go to uh, experience accelerator here and then go for your media and then you select you know your video and same thing you can even you know do for other renderings also but for this uh, uh, video I'm just going to focus on the video component here so uh, the process is you know the, um, the, the cloning process for your uh, rendering is also very straightforward just go to the rendering which you want to clone right click on it and then click on scripts and then you will find a clone rendering option so just click on that clone rendering and then it will ask you a few things so what is the name of your rendering so for this uh, rendering I can give it name as extended video right because it is going to be an extension of your existing video component so extended video then it will group inside your module called as um, extended video then of which class you want to apply for your rendering so let it be you know, video for now then there are different parameters you can uh, specify like we uh, from the rendering parameters perspective either you want to inherit your existing rendering or you want to make a copy of your existing rendering um, so I'll just go for a copy of your existing rendering so that I don't mess up with my you know existing um, stuff same thing goes for your data source also either we can extend it or we can make a copy of it so let me just make a copy of it and then from the view section also uh, we have you we have three different options either we can you know you make use of original view or we can copy our original view to a different location or we can select an existing view file so in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this copy MVC view file and once you select this option it will basically look for you know this specific uh, location so that location should be pre-existing in this case uh, what I want to do is I just want to create uh, my new view uh, which is extended video.css demo which will be created inside your extended video folder so this folder should be um, uh, should exist before so in this case this is my views folder and let me just click on folder and click on extended video right so let me just go to this extended video also right so let's just you know review all the options once again so we have the rendering name we have the module under which it will be created the class for that what are the rendering parameters I just want to create a, a new uh, uh, rendering parameter for this one by selecting a copy of it same thing goes for your data source also and from the view also you know I just want to create a, a duplicate of my view file and which will get copied over to your extended video system file so once everything is um, uh, added and verified right just click on proceed and once you click on proceed uh, it will take a while um, basically it will do um, uh, several things on the background so yeah our clone rendering step is done so you can just click on close and uh, from here if I expand the feature you have we have this extended video and our clone is already ready now right so which is uh, something which was created with your, with your video rendering now so so far what we have done we have created um, a module called uh, ex uh, extended video then the second step what we have done is we have also created a module uh, rendering called extended video which was created using video rendering and the last step is to basically configure this uh, module um, to, a to a particular site so in this case what I'm going to do is I have two different sites here so I'm, I just want to you know configure um, this rendering uh, that component to my club zone site so uh, you know to can do it it's very simple just uh, select the site where you want to configure your module go to scripts and then you will have an option for add site module just click on that and once uh, you will see an option like which module you want to select so yeah we we have you know different um, uh, modules which are currently not installed as part of this site so I can just unselect what I don't want here and just go for extended video in this case and click on OK so it will basically add this um, extended video module to my club zone website and it is all done so once this is done you can just verify it by going to your presentation and go to your available renderings in your available renderings you will see an option for club zone and uh, yes so we have this you know extended video rendering uh, populated here yeah so this is based on you know whatever site uh, you are into but yeah you can also change it based on your you know module or your rendering 
so yeah uh, from the setup perspective i think you know we we have done all of our um, you know whatever the steps were required we have uh, uh, we have completed all those steps so the last step is let's just you know configure this module in the website right so for that what i'll do is uh, let me see, yeah, it is all open let me just create a new page and let's just call that page as uh, video page for example click on ok and we have a placeholder right and then we also have an extended video the model which we created and inside that we also have a component called extended video which we created via clone you know via, um, uh, via you know uh, um, clone right we have basically cloned this extended video based on our video component right so let's just uh, drag and drop this component here and let's see yeah so it will basically look for um, uh, you know um, uh, because the data item, data item was already created at spa uh, as part of you know uh, the model installation for your current site so this is already created let me just go ahead and uh, you know click on um, create and create some folder item for that so let me just create a folder which is okay now inside this folder item what I can do is I can also create an actual video item so let's just do that so the item is created and let's see what happens next let me just take a while yeah so now we see like we have our uh, video component configured here and I can you know just uh, um, make it uh, you know text one two three and then here I what I can do is I can make it text to you know four five six and I can just save my changes so once it is saved what I can do next is I can uh, go to this page video page and I should have my video component here with uh, with the you know with the, with the same uh, title and you know caption uh, things there. And when when we click on this one, our video should get you know uh, it will it will start playing. So okay, yeah. In this case, you know, as we don't have the video ID populated there, so it it won't work. So what I can just quickly do here is I can just take um, I can just take some of the. I just need a video ID for that so that video ID I can take from my existing video component so right there go to a video and extend a video and you can just specify your video ID here and you should be good here right so yeah so you can see right we have you know this video populated here just play it and then it will it will, it will play yeah so this way you know you can basically uh, what we have seen so far is we have uh, clone our existing rendering uh, video rendering and uh, uh, you know whatever you can do with your video component same thing you can do with your extended video component also now uh, if you have certain you know specific requirement uh, from your client specific to video so instead of doing all those things directly as part of uh, your um, you know existing video component what you can do is you can customize your ex extended video now right whatever uh, let's say you know you need some additional properties which you want to show you know, right after your caption and all those um, caption and title you can create those additional fields uh, directly as part of your uh, extended video template and then you dis you can display it here so what I'm just trying to say here is if I just go to your extended video and uh, so you see like we have these different you know these many different fields uh, 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 present already from from a video component so what I can do is I can just say custom video and let's say I just say uh, <coughs> you know custom field something right it, it's up to you like whatever you want to do there you just uh, provide create all your things and then the, all your things should should be displayed here like so we have the custom field here so similarly and you can use this custom field and uh, you can display it as part of your CSS HTML file. So in this case, uh, you know we already have we have a CSS HTML file for that. So you can, <coughs> you know, uh, let me just open this. Right. So we have this CSS HTML file, and you can basically you know make use of this file and add whatever properties you want to display as part as part of the component your website. So yeah.
pretty much that's it I just wanted to show you as part of you know how you can customize it and you know what different options you have there so that is this option will be useful you know uh, this cloning will be useful so that you know next time when you are doing for going for an uh, going for your SXA or your site code upgrade it won't impact anything which you have done as part of your you know custom component there so your existing out uh, you know SXA component will work as is without any issues because you are not you know you are not changing anything to SX you know to your out of the box components so I think you know uh, you'll find it uh, useful because this is what something it is uh, um, you know um, now these days we are basically making use of SX components uh, um, you know uh, uh, more and more so yeah, I feel uh, this would be useful uh, and th in the future videos we will see you know what other customizations we can do with SXA so if you have any questions any you know any comment feel free to you know add into the comment section and uh, we can take it from there thanks guys thank you